Hi, welcome to Synchronize Lighting product videos. In this video, we will teach you how to set up and run your product. Hi there, this is our Ethernet controller card. Comes with eight channels, 900, you can have 900 pixels per channel, and they can be anything pixels. LED strings. Right, little explanation on the card first of all. A, we have two DC inputs. One is for the normal jack socket, which is under 10 volts, 10 amps, sorry. And the other one is for a power brick to hardwire into the unit for over 10 amps. I'll wire that in in a second. The Ethernet controller, you need a Ethernet controller, I think it's a 10 by 100 5 port switch, Ethernet switch. Um, loads of them on the market, buy whichever one, average of about, between anything from about 10 to 20 pounds. Um, laptop, obviously to run it, and the switch come from a switch to the card insert into the card and then from the switch into the laptop obviously you need power for the laptop all this I've put a knot in there so I know which is a negative so I'm now Right, once we've wired it up, the red light goes solid to say that it's in control, the PC is now controlling it, and the green light is flashing just to let it know that it's waiting for commands. Here we have our 8x32 pixel grid, 256 RGB pixels. Plug that into the card, just for demonstration purposes. That goes into number five. And here we have a set of 2801 pixels, 50 on the string. Reason why I've done two different, so you've got 256s here and 50 here. Plug that into the, the board, into number eight. I've written a very small Pro, just to show you, there's only 50 on there, 256 on here, but the software can handle the fact that they run exactly the same time. To set up and configure a Ethernet controller, you have to use our device manager. Double click on a device manager Ethernet program. On the left hand side you will see a list of devices that are connected to your network. You will see the IP address of the controller as well as the name of the controller and the type of the controller. To set up 
a controller you click on the name or IP address of the controller over here on the right hand side there are different options that you can set for the controller you can set the controller name to be whatever you want it to be uh, the IP address you can change to allow it to be easier on your network or to include others uh, network mask and gateway are things that sometimes don't have to be changed unless your network is different multicast IP allows you to set up an IP address similar to how the DMX controllers used to work a MAC address is like the network's name for the device that is assigned it will also show you the outputs that are on the controller as well as the maximum pixels and outputs per controller as well as how many inputs are currently plugged in Over on this side you can change the settings for each output so you can change 1 to 8 you can change the number of channels that are going to be going through the output um, you can change the pixels per channel you can change the type of the pixels so you can have the 8806, 1803, 2801, 2811 or 2812 b the, the RGB format you can change as some lights have a different way of managing the colors you can disable the output totally or you can duplicate this output for another output which means that if you have two sets of lights doing the same thing they will both do the exact same thing for even if you just have what set up one output once you're happy with your settings you can press save to save all the settings that you've just done you can then reboot the device if you want to allow the settings to be shown or if you if you're having a problem with with the controller or you need to or you want to go back to the original settings you press the factory reset and we'll go back to the original settings you can then update the firmware if a new firmware has been released for your controller and you can also refresh the list of devices if you have added more controllers to the network after starting the device manager on the control tab you are able to test your lights so you can select the output you want then change the channel of what pixel you want to to look at and change a color or you can press start test pattern and it will run a sequence of lights so you can see what is working and if the whole the whole system is working together this concludes our video thank you very much for watching for any more information please do not hesitate to contact one of our team